Welcome to this video on how to format the text in a J label. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video I'm going to show you how this single J label was used to create everything you see on screen. As you can see we've got a heading, we've got different font colors, we've got some italicized text, we've got a picture and we've got some underlining and there are a whole host of other effects that you can achieve as well. So let's have a look at the code that produced this. Here is the Java code that produced that J label. The J label itself was instantiated further up the program. What we're going to do is we're going to create a string called txt. And we're going to initialize that string with some HTML. If you don't know about HTML, or you're not sure of what's going on here, then please see some of the excellent videos on YouTube that will cover the basics very quickly. The J label is not a browser, and so it can't understand things like head. Because it doesn't need head, it doesn't need body. So the text must start with the tag HTML. Everything after that is just plain HTML as would normally appear in the body section of a web page. You don't need head and you don't need body. As you can see, my code starts with an H1 and this is some text saying formatting text in a J label that has been aligned center. The J label supports the attributes for tags. The next line shows that it also supports the CSS styles that you can use to format text in any way you like. In this case, I'm blue, poor me, is being made to be blue. You can change the font whenever you want. In this line of code, the font style is being changed to Korea New and the font size is 24 point. You can do this as often as you need. It's not particularly necessary for this little poem by William Wordsworth, but it's something that you can do, so I'm going to show you that it's there. You can include spans, which have their own style. So in this case, the text in this span is going to be green and bold. The text will be The Daffodils by William Wordsworth, and you'll notice that it ends in a BR tag. Any time you want a new line, you have to specify the BR tag. We then have a couple of lines of ordinary text, again with the BR tag at the end. In the next line, I'm using the italics tag, I, just to italicize golden daffodils. Those of you who've used HTML5 will know that the I tag has been deprecated, but the J label still understands it. In this line, we can see that we're using the special characters that are available in HTML. In this case, I'm using the non-break space to indent the image a bit. The image has a source. And the only thing that's different because we're running this from a Java program is that we must use the file colon before the path and file name. So in this case, I've got file colon and then images because my graphic is in the images directory and then the name of the graphic, crocuses.jpg. Well, crocuses are sort of daffodils. The last line of text has an underline in it. Again, not for any good reason, but to just to show you that you can. The final thing you need to do is once you've concatenated all these lines of code, is to set that line of code as the text for the label, in my case, LBL code. So you use the set text command. And that's all there is to formatting text in a J label. You can be incredibly inventive.